In CSS, the transform property is a powerful tool. It helps us create animations, 3D effects, and many cool designs. But to control these transformations in a better way, we also need some extra properties. If you are new to transforms, you can first watch our video on the transform property basics. In this video, we will focus on transform origin, transform box, transform style, perspective, backface visibility. These properties help us make smoother and more realistic 2D and 3D effects using only HTML and CSS. Let's explore them step by step. Let's start with the perspective property. In this example, we have two elements, a parent div and a box. When we use transform rotate x 180 degrees, the box flips upside down along the x axis. If we change it to 60 degrees, the box tilts, but it still looks flat. Now we can inspect the box. If I change the rotation angle, you can see the box rotates on the x axis, but it still looks the same as the other box. To make it appear 3D, we add a perspective value of 800 pixels, and now, box looks like it's really rotating in 3D space. If we make the perspective smaller, like 100 pixels, the box looks very stretched and dramatic. So remember, a smaller perspective value makes the 3D effect stronger and more spread out. A larger perspective value makes the effect softer and less dramatic. Now let's talk about the transform origin property. By default, it is set to the center, so writing transform origin center doesn't change anything, but we can set it to other values like top, bottom, left, right, or even give exact units for the x and y axes. For example, if we set it to top left, the box sticks to the top left corner, and when we rotate it, the box rotates around that corner. If we set it to bottom right, the box rotates around the bottom right corner. Now let's see the magic of the transform origin property. We add a hover effect on the box using transform rotate 45 degrees with transform origin center. This makes the box rotate around its center point. If we change it to top left, the box now rotates around the top left corner. Now let's look at the perspective origin property. First, we set perspective, 800 pixels on the parent div and use perspective origin center. It looks the same because center is the default value. Remember, perspective origin is always applied to the parent element. It works together with the perspective value, and it doesn't need any transform by itself. Even if we remove perspective from the box, the effect still works because the parent has it. When we use both, perspective on the parent and transform on the child, the element looks more spread out in 3D. For example, if we set perspective origin, top, the box looks like we are viewing it from above. Without it, the box appears a little lower. If we set it to bottom right, the view changes again, and when we rotate the box, you can clearly see the difference. Now let's talk about the transform style property. This property is applied to the parent element, and by default, its value is flat. That means no 3D effect is visible. If we change it to preserve 3D, the box now looks 3D, and part of it extends outside the parent div. To make the 3D effect clearer, we can add transform, rotate Y 30 degrees to the parent. We can also set the parent's background to transparent and add a border so the 3D view is easier to see. If we inspect the box and rotate it, you'll notice it rotates smoothly in 3D along the X axis. We can also use transform origin, for example, top center, so the box rotates around that specific point. And if we give the parent div a background color, the 3D rotation becomes even more visible. To create this kind of 3D card effect, we only use CSS transform properties like perspective, translate, and rotate. On hover, we add translate 3D to make the character pop out of the card. In translate 3D, we set the values like this, x 0%. Y minus 30%, Z minus 100 PX. This gives the card a smooth and realistic 3D hover effect. Now let's look at the backface visibility property. First, we create a simple HTML setup. A scene div, 
inside it a flipper div, and two child divs with the classes face front and face back. By default, back face visibility is set to visible. That means the back text shows on both sides. On the front, it looks upside down and is hard to read. If we set back face visibility, hidden on the face class, the front text shows clearly while the back text stays hidden. To make this work as a proper 3D flip effect, don't forget to set the parent div with perspective and transform style. Preserve 3D. Finally, let's talk about the transform box property. This property is mainly used with SVG elements. If you want to learn about SVGs, you can check out our SVG video. For example, in an SVG rectangle, if we set transform box, view box, the animation is applied to the entire SVG canvas. If we set transform box, fill box, the animation is applied relative to the element's own center.